Today we will show you how to convert a fish pump into a vacuum pumps. Basically this is a fish pump that can buy in the local market where they sell the aquariums. And if you look like this, there's a selector switch on the other sides of the pump. You can select to high and low. These are all the basic tools that you need to convert this suction pump as a uh, flyer, long nose flyer, set of screwdrivers, utility knife. This is a tuck it, a reusable and removable adhesive can buy in the local bookstores. This is the white piece connectors and the two tubes. So I'll show you later how to how do we will connect this to the to the pumps. We need the uh, battery drills and a tester for suction pressures okay these are the how uh, step how to convert the piece pump to a vacuum pump our objective is to make this pump to a, a vacuum pump by reversing the operation through simply switching the discharge and the suction bulb i will show you this in later when we open the systems number one we have to remove the screw turn around the suction pumps and remove this four screw yes let's move this away right there Remove one of the screw of the chamber bulb. And take the plier to take this bulb out from the housing. Okay. And then separate the rubber cup from the suction and discharge chamber. Now, after that, you need to pry the rubber holder of the plopper bulb. This is the rubber holders. It used to hold the plopper bulb firmly from its chamber. And then take out the plopper bulb. This is the plopper bulb. This is uh, the one that controls the pressures of suctions. There are two bulbs that this chamber have. So we will just turn around the chamber and then this will be ready to install. Here. You have to put the bulb on the right place because if not, it will not perform the suction and discharge operations. Yes, and then put back the holder, the rubber holder, put it on top of the plumber bulb. That's it. And use a tucker. Tuck it, just a little piece, and then roll it with your hands. And then just put this one and press by your hand and use some kind of like a screw or anything that can you like you can use to press down to tuck it to make sure it's stick there and the plopper bulb holder won't move and the plopper bulb will stay steadily in its place now Press it again. Make sure that that hole is free because that will become the, the discharge line because we reverse the operations of this fish pump. See? And after that, remove the other one, plopper, uh, rubber, rubber holder for the plopper bulb, 
this time we will put this on the other side. That's the flapper bulb over there. Yes. And then we will reverse this and we will put that flapper bulb in there. And the holder make the flapper bulb sit firmly. and that's it now the chamber suction and discharge chambers is ready to assemble again with the rubber cap just like that sorry make sure it's aligned to this one and then we can install back to the housing Then we can put the screw. Okay. Now after that we will we will put the test. This is the sanction testers that I use to make sure that these the sanctions now the new sanction is working. Uh, we have done these sides. After that, you can do the other side. The same, the same process. I have already done these sides, to, to, so you just have to connect this tester in here, and I will plug this into the power to show you how this one is working. You see that? Now this is already complete. We will going to show you. You should have put three hole using a drill. Three holes, and because this this will become the discharge, and then put back the covers and put the screw. Okay, then turn around, put that together, then turn this around, and then we will assemble the YPs connectors by just push this tube this to another one and put this on the port of the sanction but now that's it that's all complete that is how to convert fish pump to sanction pump